I reckon it's important that the brews understand that uh, I don't care if you're a brew. Uh, I care more about the Constitution. I care more about your humanity. I care more about your ability to think. I care more about who you are. So I think some of these brews out there been hearing me and they're going, well, I'm Hebrew. So uh, I guess, I guess he, he likes me a lot more than everyone else because he's a he's a not white supremacist. He's a whiter supremacist or whatever the fuck that means, uh, but not really. Uh, it's it, 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 I think they think that means I'm a Jewish supremacist, but really I'm a us supremacist and Jew and Jews are a subgroup of us, and so um, it's really hard to explain how I don't give a fuck if you're Jewish. And I think Jewish people give a fuck if you're Jewish a lot more than everyone else. I saw Kinky Friedman wants everyone to uh, vote for a Jewish person for president, and I suppose I'm Jewish. But my understanding is my genetics test, um, it, it, it confuses people so much that uh, it makes them uh, question what they know about genetics because you don't think about the confounding variable involved with a... Uh, a, a, a relatively decent amount of clones being repeatedly placed in the world population, some of which have children, some of which do not as much, and some of which have children that are probably more reckless, I would assume. Let's face it, I'm one of those crazy sons of bitches that see the Ruskies and go, oh, you're impossible to fight. Uh, no, you're not. Actually, I'll just let you basically run all over my country, act like uh, you, you own this place, act like it's real easy to be an American spy uh, or to be a spy in America, because it is. There are Ruski spies everywhere. Uh, they're all over the place, and man, they sure love putting that malware on computer networks. But uh, fortunately, them Googlers over there, uh, they're, they're actually incredible at security, so um, they're so secure that they secure themselves from themselves. And that's kind of the secret to security is uh, pissing yourself off with your security. And so uh, my understanding is that Google is actually run by a lot of people, but there are certain people that really can lock people out of certain servers because my understanding, because, because what I remember, uh, I tried to start imaginary World War III, which was primarily focused on Russia. I, I, at no point did I ever decide Russia was on my team. Uh, uh, there were a lot of people that kind of changed teams, uh, but at no point would I ever decide Russia was on my team. Why? Vladimir Putin. I hate that son of a bitch. I wanted to kill him for a long ass time. All right, so let's think here. All right, so uh, after imaginary World War III, what, who, who all got fired? Larry Page, who 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 got who who got kicked off the board? And the real question is, are we going to hang the entire board to Google? And the real answer is, inshallah, Mumkin. Uh, Mumkin means it's probable in Arabic. Uh, you say uh, when, when someone walks up to you and says, uh, um, "Would you like some? Would you like some uh, more water?" You would say, uh, "Mumkin." You would say, it's probable that I would want more water, water so they assume that means yes. Um, but um, everything, but all I'm saying is that it means, it, it, but it, it's not absolute also. Uh, so uh, it, I, I think it's probable, though, that the entire board of Google will be hung at some point. Um, which, I mean, I feel bad if I'm saying that Sundar Shah is going to get hung, because I would think, it, the thing is, it's kind of not fair when you're not a foreign spy, but you're a foreign person in the United States that's very successful, that's been very good at his job, and he's kind of like getting told by the government what to do constantly. But then the real question is, how compliant are you with the government? And my understanding is it's not so much about Senator Bashai at all. Like the, per the people that we're really pushing are these Ruskies that are in, that work at Google. Like, because Google was, because, okay, so there's the guy, I don't know his name, uh, Bren, Sergey Brin, right? Uh, he, uh, he he found a Google. He's he's from Moscow. His wife is of Russian descent, and she's in charge of 23andMe, which is a genetics testing company, which came out after I came around. So they decided to go into genetics testing after they found out about me, because I've been posting my content on Blogspot for a long time. Google owns Blogspot, and my understanding is Google has censored me an incredible amount on Blogspot. So if there's anything that Google knows is if you're censoring someone specifically over Austin Bomber type allegations at one point, and then now you're not censoring him, 
then you really have to ask yourself, um, are you a fascist? And if you're a fascist from a foreign country in my country, are you more likely to die than someone who is um, a fascist inside my country, but it's more that you're a, 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 a very serious law enforcement person that just doesn't give a fuck about the law because you've been watching too many damn movies. You see Will Smith. You've seen Sean in the TV show Psych, and Sean catches everyone because all Sean does is break the break the law. He always breaks the law, and he says, "Oh, I had a I had a vision. That's how I, I had a psych. I, I'm a psychic. I, I had a vision, and that's how I solved the crime. But really, he broke the law, and that's why by by Psych is about a detective that breaks the law all the time. And then everyone watches, it and they're like, "Well, I should probably be like that because um, it's okay because all the detectives on TV break the law." And all the detectives on TV are assholes. Danny Wahlberg is a fucking asshole. Because if you, if you, if like, it's hard to explain how it's not until you're me that you think Danny Wahlberg's an asshole. Because I'm pretty sure on Blue Bloods, everyone thinks that guy is a hero, but to me, he's an asshole. Because like, I know, like, it, cops that act like that towards me all the time. Ugh, I know you're guilty. I just met you. Can you just tell me something? Where, where's the victim that you killed? No, but uh, okay, that's not exactly how I want to do it. I was a real, I'm, I ain't no, I ain't no New Yorker. Damn it, I feel, I feel like I'm failing my audition to get a TV show. But then I realize I've made so much money off Google that I feel like right now, that is probably the biggest reason they want to censor me, and that's like the biggest reason I would not want to murder their board because like if they're trying to censor me for like a stupid thing because the Russian, like someone that's associated with the Russian government, is saying that 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 picture is copyright violation, but really I'm making peace with North Korea by having a nice picture of someone because I do want to like say well, that everyone in the news is saying she's an enforcer, or she's mean, she's she's the she's the she's the, she's the vicious one, she's the one that will torture you, not Kim Jong Un. Trust me, Kim Jong Un has nice pictures. He's very nice in his pictures. She's the one. And all, all I'm saying is uh I think probably those people at YouTube want to censor me because I'm making too much money, which is crazy because no one because why are you censoring how many views I have? Which I feel like everyone's like in this catch-22 type situation. If you haven't read the book, you should read the book Catch-22. Catch-22 is the ultimate book. But all I'm saying is I feel like YouTube is in a Catch-22 and that's why it's like, no, I'm actually American even though, yes, I am of Russian descent. I don't want you to go to Russia because it's my decision, my foreign policy decision. What you don't understand is that um, some of these dumb motherfuckers believe in being pacifists until the next thing you know, they're fucked. And you know who's not a pacifist? Me. Because we're sporting anti-swastika tattoos. No, it's, it's not That's not why. It's because we're smart. Because we, we know what the future holds. So Because we're planning. Because we're thinking about how, we're, how we want to handle this. And, and, and a lot of people aren't thinking about how they want to handle this shit. They just want to sit there and be like, well, I'm making a bunch of money. I'm good. I'm actually Russian, so don't do that. Well, guess what? I don't give a fuck what you think. I, I, I care about solutions, and I have a solution. The solution is I'm going to get all these motherfuckers out there. Apparently, China isn't who wanted to censor my video, which I feel bad for accusing the Chinese military. But let's face it, who, who would have a picture of her? Probably China. And plus, I feel like China actually really wants Kim Jong-un. As weird as it sounds, they want them to have this crazy, psychotic cult that can result in very large amounts of nuclear explosions on their doorstep. Because at least they know he's on their side. But... Um, all, all, I mean, I, who, who has known for a long time that Kim Jong-un built tunnels in the DMZ zone with nuclear weapons under, underneath the ground? A lot of us knew that. And it's like, well, why, why, why? What the fuck are you thinking? You think that you're, you're fighting South Korea is all you got to worry about? You don't think that that ocean is full of all kinds of bombs coming at you? I mean, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? You think we can't destroy your entire internet? Yeah, you think the Pakistanis are the only ones that can do it? Yeah, we invented every fucking operating system. You don't even get that. No matter what operate, like, did you, do you have your own version of Linux? Congratulations, you're still using the kernel. You don't even understand shit. I mean, maybe you do, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know enough about kernel development, but I know there are like no kernels at all. There are like two or like three, I don't even know. Well, I guess, isn't there the Debian Kernel, there are various Linux, but that, that that's when it was for, before it was before it was Unix, because that's still all based on that Unix, and I don't really know enough about that. But all I'm saying is, no matter what, we are the gods of the computer world, 
And so this whole idea that Kim Jong Un's going to go just like start nuking people and killing people because um, he doesn't want to have to go walk on the golf course because if Kim Jong Un is playing a, 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 a game against Pac, because we're going to bring in Pac, we're going to have a girl play against Kim Jong Un. They can play at the same tees since she's a female. It's not like she could play in, at the expert tees and shoot in the 60s. Maybe. I mean, at least in the 70s, guarantee it. I mean, sometimes she can probably, I guarantee you, sometimes she can shoot in the 60s, depending on the course. And um, so her and Kim Jong-un can play. They can both walk. They can have caddies. Kim Jong-un does not have to carry his bag. Um, Pac is a little uncomfortable with the guns, but she thinks that as long as everyone sees uh, Kim Jong-un, uh, like failing so bad at golf that they all like we're gonna I've, I've decided Kim Jong-un's gonna constantly hit the ball in the gallery so we'll just give all of the gallery people like you know the crowd that's watching Kim Jong-un golf we'll give them shields so every time Kim Jong-un golfs they'll put up their shield when he's about to hit and then they'll duck behind it if, if, if the ball looks like it's coming at him but um, generally the entire audience will be laughing because let's face it um, Kim Jong-un is an incredibly poor athlete. We know one thing about Kim Jong-un. He's smarter than everyone, except he ain't the best computer programmer in North Korea. Guaranteed. If there's anything everyone knows in North Korea, no, no, not, not everyone. Everyone that is really smart in North Korea knows one thing. Kim Jong-un is not that good at programming. Probably Kim Yo-jong is better at programming than Kim Jong-un. And so all I'm saying is he ain't all brains and he's definitely not muscle so I, I think we should go put him up against a muscular woman <laughs> and then watch him get his ass kicked at golf but let's have a let's actually I, I feel like the majority of the audience should be North Korean but we should film it we should pro who, who made that North Korean film with the zombies let's have them set up cameras to make it real interesting watching Kim Jong-un because I guarantee you we want to see him sweating his ass off because he can't even walk 18 holes <laughs> This is this is our f version of torture. <laughs> Kim Jong Un's version of torture. Y'all don't want to know shit about that. I swear to God, you don't. You don't want to know what Kim Jong Un thinks of torture. My version of torture is making Kim Jong Un walk 18 holes while everyone's laughing at, at, at laughing at him. And if Kim Jong Un gets too what, tired during the 18 holes, he can lay down in the grass very temporarily. But we'll get some cattle prods and start poking his ass, making him get up. We'll burn his ass until he starts walking again. I swear to God, I will burn you with a Satan logo. All right. So um, Kim Jong Un's my hero.